here with Scott Ryder, the old crow himself at Knobcon 2016. Uh, for Gearslets.com. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm here with my uh, Chromenius uh, project. I started as a uh, ultra compact mini in a small uh, metal case, and I've moved to building it as a Euro rack version. It comes in two modules the oscillator and modulation module, and then the filter envelope and amplifier module. Uh, you supply uh, CV and gate signals, and there are other modulation inputs. This is for modulation amount that in place of a mod wheel, and then you have a pitch modulation input. Um, I also uh, give you some extras like uh, envelope outputs, uh, external modulation, and tracking for the filter, uh, and pretty much any uh, input you found on on the, the stock mini is available here. But, uh, but any, uh, I also gave, since it's in a modular setting, I gave it these extra items, like here's a modulation control voltage output. This includes whatever noise modulation you would inject uh, based on the setting of the, of the controls. Uh, so anything that you can generate here is available, uh, and of course you can bring in as I have done here. This is my CS80 filter. This is the M. It used to be called the MOTM480. Oh yes, this is the one. This is, uh, this is the one I was told to come see. The CS80 style filter. I had got this playing through right now. I had to redesign the, the 480 because my original design, one of the core components was end of life. So I went to my new design. Design. And I built this one for Robert, and I had to borrow it from him for this convention, but it's going back to him. Because, Robert Rich. Robert Rich, yeah. But um, it is my CS80 filter, and showing you the, the, the modular utility, I'm just taking the first two oscillators in and sending the signal back into the mixer and turning off the oscillators coming in originally. So now you essentially have the CS80 filter uh, going through the wide open ladder filter and you have a, basically a, it's not a CS80 voice, but it is, it has the tone colors, the more sibilant or vocal colors that you would associate yeah. with the Yamaha instrument. Awesome. So. And where would we go for pricing and availability information? I have a site, cs80.com. Uh, I'm working on the pricing schedule now. I expect to have these in uh, early 2017. I would just check that site. Uh, there will be a link that says Chrominius and Chrominius Euro, and I would use those to uh, decide. Okay, Scott, thanks very much. Looks like fabulous gear a lot of people are going to want to have in their racks, so thanks for the early look. Yes, certainly.